What's up guys? Today's a special day. Not only is it the day of my first vlog, here we are, vlogging, but today is also new hat day. So I thought I'd replace it with something a little bit more festive, uh, maybe for Halloween. Actually, I just got the same exact one. <laughs> Give it five more days and it'll look just like the old one. <laughs> So today we're headed to the marina and we're going to talk about is buying a boat the right choice for you? Now there's a lot of videos on how to buy a boat, what kind of boat you should buy, what to look for, but I think the first question you should be asking yourself is, is buying a boat the right choice for you? So let's go and talk about the pros and cons and all the details of boat ownership that not everybody takes into consideration before they actually pull the trigger on that big purchase. That's a hot one. So this boat is a Fontaine Bougeot catamaran. It's a Lucia 40. It's a pretty cool uh, representation of, of modern boats and what people want today. This is the kind of interior that sells boats right here. It's basically like a condo. So people get really excited about this kind of stuff. But before we get too excited, let's talk about the pros and cons and the reality of owning a boat like a brand new boat, or even an older boat, a big boat, a small boat, a catamaran, a monohull, a trimaran, they all have their complications. So everybody's probably heard the expression, the best two days of a person's life are the day they buy a boat and the day they sell their boat. So is that really true? Are most boat buyers second guessing their purchase? Well, let's talk about it. There's so many different options for people. There's so many different ways it can go. Here we are aboard Trimaran. It's a Dragonfly 32 Supreme. It's a folding Trimaran. So this is a little bit of extreme example of, of a boat that you can buy that has some uh, catch 22s involved with it. So you think, you know, a brand new boat shouldn't have a lot of issues, but the fact of the matter is, is this boat breaks all the time. And if you don't have enough money to stay on top of it, you know, buying the boat is not the last expense. So this is a really good example and this pertains to all boats. Well, but when you buy the boat, you just started the process. Boat stands for break out another thousand. So don't forget that because it's true. A little rain came in overnight. This hatch always leaks. So it's a different day, if you haven't noticed. Thought maybe the shirt gave it away. It's also cloudy outside and rainy. We're gonna start by going around the marina a little bit more and talk about a little bit more boats and kind of get things going. We're here aboard the Juno 479. Of course, not all of you are going to be out buying large vessels like this. A lot of you are going to be, just like myself, be purchasing boats from the 70s and 80s. The whole purpose of this video is not to dissuade you from buying a boat, but to let you kind of think things over because I feel like a lot of people go into boat buying with unrealistic expectations. Most people don't use their boats very often. So when you break down the cost of what it costs to own that boat for a whole year, divided by how many times you went sailing, one customer of mine did the math and it was $10,000 per sail. So is that worth it to you? Because you can charter a really nice boat for $10,000. All right, it's windy. We're on another uh, Fontaine Maggio Lucer 40 and I, just got some cookies and granola from a boat over there. So there are some really amazing aspects to boat ownership. I think one of the best things about owning a boat is the community that comes with being in marina environments or cruising. Um, 
you know, people that are full-time liveaboards or full-time cruisers, you know, there, there's, there's a hominess that comes along. Like for instance, homemade cookies and granola. You have neighbors that are watching out for you all the time. Um, it's just, and you know your neighbors. And it really becomes about the people. To take advantage of that, you really need to be living on the boat or almost living on the boat or using it as like a second home or you're there every weekend or, you know, but most boats just sit. How often are you gonna go sailing? Five times a year, 10 times a year, 20 times a year? Mm. These are really good. Want some? All right, we're going back to the boat yard now. And we're gonna talk, uh, instead of talking about money, we're gonna talk about time. So you're gonna dish out a lot of money for your boat, but you're also gonna dish out a lot of time. Boats are riddled with problems, all of them. Brand new boat, problems. Old boat, problems. I'm always surprised that a lot of new boat owners, that they're surprised that there's a bunch of problems with their boat. So we're gonna go to the boat yard and we're gonna talk about the time and that it's gonna take that you're gonna have to put in to maintain your vessel or you're gonna have to pay someone else to do it for you. All boats inevitably end up here. They have to, or else you're just neg neglecting your boat. So what's your plan for dealing with these kind of boats? Now, you see these boats like behind me, they're derelict. Well, they weren't built that way, they got that way. And you know why? It's because what happened is owners bought a boat brand new and it started to age. And maybe at first they started taking care of it, but then it just got to be a pain in the butt and it got expensive. And the easiest thing to do was just not do it. A boat is like having a dog. You can't just do anything you want anymore because you're a dog owner. And a boat is the same way. You can't just go to Europe for the summer. You've got a boat. All right, so here we are where we all want to be with turquoise blue water, bright sunny skies, you know, the whole place to yourself. This is what we dream of. This is what inspires many, many of us to go sailing and to dream about sailing and to start dreaming about owning a boat of our own. But to tell you the truth, if boat ownership isn't really the right thing for you, that decision is actually gonna take you further away from actually enjoying this beauty right here that you so long for. Now, first of all, if you, if you don't even know how to sail yet, don't even think about buying a boat because you have no idea what you're doing. Get the experience and then maybe if boat buying's right for you, you can go ahead and buy a boat. Another option for boat ownership is actually a shared ownership. You don't have to have that full blown responsibility. And the truth is people who own boats don't usually sail as much as people who consistently charter every year or join a sailing school or a sailing club. When you own your own boat, everything that needs to get done has to get done by you. So we all dream of sailing to tropical destinations, sailing around the world, but the truth of the matter is, is when you buy a boat, you're basically gonna be stuck wherever your local harbor is. So if you do really wanna experience sailing and paradise and blue water and exotic locations, I think chartering sailboats is a better option for you. If you want to get into sailing, you're interested in sailing, reach out to someone like myself or go to a charter company like Blue Sail down in Key West or go to a sailing school like South Portland Sailing Center up in Portland, Maine. So I want you to enjoy the sport of sailing as much as possible because it's such a beautiful thing to add to your life. Life's short, so take advantage of it. This is beautiful. This is what it's all about right here. So it doesn't matter if you own a boat or you charter a boat or you have friends with the boat or you take a sailing class. This is what it's all about right here. And this is all that matters. Enjoy it. Life is beautiful. Take advantage of it. And the world we live in, especially the coastlines and islands and the ocean is just phenomenal. There's something about it that's magical and touches all of us in a really special way. So join me, let's go sailing. <laughs> <laughs>